What's up? Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Corey, aka Mr. Manage. If you haven't been here before, uh, please do me a solid. Before we start, and hit that subscribe button, that like button. You see the thumbnail, you see the title. Today, we're going to be installing harnesses from Cypher Automotive. You guys might be saying, why didn't you get Braum harnesses? Because Braum didn't have orange harnesses, and I specifically wanted orange harnesses because I got black seats and I have an orange Camaro. So I at least wanted some accent, and I couldn't find any orange Braum seats. Other than the one that had like orange stitching and blue, like navy denim, but I didn't want that. So, these harnesses were, I believe, around 300. They were like 169 a piece, so it was 300 and something dollars. Um, I have them down here and I will show you what they look like. I'm not gonna give you an in-depth how to wrap them around the bar because Cypher already has a video on that themselves. I'm just gonna follow what they do. And you can, I'll put that link to link to that, I'll put the link to that video in the description. Uh, and I will be showing you where I put my anchor points for the sides. So this is a five point harness. I'm only gonna have four points till I figure out the fifth point in the future. So I bought these things from Brom, these little anchors. I don't know if this is what they're designed to do, but I got them from Brom. I'll put those links in the description and I use those as my points because this harness is like a, it has like a clip to hook onto like hooks. And if you don't have hooks, it, you kind of like where you gonna hook it up. They give you the pieces that it would hook to, so you would have to like drill into the chassis or something like that. I didn't want to drill into my chassis, so I found another way to do it, which I believe is just as effective. And I pretty much will show you where I'm mounting my harness, what it looks like, and again, later on, I'll come with a review. This is just me showing you and giving you an overall explanation, not exactly showing you how to wrap the harnesses. Without delaying the video anymore, let's show you what these harnesses look like, and let's show you what they look like installed. So these, this is the box that it comes in right here and you kind of got to tilt the whole box upside down because there's no room to get this out. So, nice packaging. These things are huge. I believe these are the three inch ones um, and they all come like separate already uh, and it's all folded up to where you have the cam lock in the middle. If you guys don't know what a cam lock is, I'll show you how to use that. Pretty much you just rotate this all one direction and all these come out. So this is the harness itself. Um, let's see if I can try and lay it out for you, but it's kind of all tangled up. Just a big blob of mess here. Sorry, it's hard to do this with one hand. So, if you look, this is one shoulder strap here. That's the other shoulder strap. And these are the hooks I was telling you about. So these would go into your chassis and you would mount this. Well, I'm pretty sure I found another way to do that and I will show you. Uh, instead of using that piece that they give, that's the fifth point which we won't be using. And that's pretty much how the harness looks. So let's get started. All right, just showing you guys why I have a chance. This is the one of the ways I'm gonna be hooking up my five point harness. I'm gonna be doing four points to start um, so I can figure out the fifth one, but I am attaching this. I got it from Braum, links will be in the description. I don't know that's intended to be used this way. I'm not a professional. Don't tell me it shouldn't be used this way or whatever, it's the way I'm using it. It's a piece of steel old. I simply took it and I put it underneath my um, original seatbelt and I put it, that's already mounted with my Braum harness bar. So I threw it in between the, or at the bottom of the harness bar. So this goes first, essentially, then the harness bar, then my bolt. And this will be able to hold on my other points. And I'm gonna show you the other one, which is gonna hook on that side of your planted bracket, um, or any bracket you have, if you have that little seatbelt thing. I'm gonna figure out how to put the other one of these that says tunnel, because it's thinner for this, you so see this is wider uh, on that side, so that way we can clip that one in, and then obviously our shoulder or our shoulder ones will come up here. But um, that's how I did it. Don't know if that's how it's intended to be used. Not a professional, don't do it, use at your own risk. Um, but again, link will be in the description, and I just wanted to show you guys that, because you know it's easier to do it without the seats in. And uh, I did this from the beginning, because I did all the, you know, the bar and the harnesses, everything at once. So that way the seat wasn't in here and this was easier to install. But if your seat is in here and you want to even use like a factory seat and you want to use a harness, then that's fine. You just have to take off your bottom seat belt, T uh, T50, and then throw this in and your harness, this harness bar wouldn't even be here. Or uh, uh, it would, but that's up to you. All right, thanks. Okay, so inside we have the passenger side seat and you can tell this is where the center console is going to be. And this is a piece by Braum that they call like the tunnel piece. Again, I don't really remember the name, but um, I guess is this means like, you know, going next to the drive shaft tunnel, being that this uh, center piece is gonna be the transmissions obviously underneath it. And then on this side is the seat, you want it to be thinner versus the other one I showed you is a little bit wider. So what I did here was, here goes a, uh, another one, also 
again, these will be in the description, has simply used their bolt that is a 7 16 dash 20, so it's fine thread. I went to Ace Hardware, I found a nut for it, I used the washer that was in here, I used this, and I simply threaded it through here with that end and a washer and tightened it down. I use an 11 16 on this nut, that's the one I got from Ace, and a 16 mil on this bolt to tighten it down, and I simply tighten this down straight up, that way we can clip into here with one, and then we will be able to clip on the other one that I showed you uh, with our harnesses. And that's just for the harness that I got, that's the um, little, uh, the one that grabs the hook, I forget what they call them, um, but uh, that is why I am doing it this way. Again, I am not a professional. This is just the way I'm doing it. I don't know if Brahm intended these to be used this way, but that's how I'm using them. So I hope that uh, clears up a little bit of stuff for you guys. Because I always have issues where I've been trying to look for ways to do this. Some people say not to mount it to your bracket. It's the only other way I can find out doing it without drilling into the side of the car, which I'm not interested in doing. The other one's not mounted to the bracket. I mean, to the bracket, it's mounted to the car, but. We'll figure it out. Also, we're gonna be running four points for now, obviously, because uh, I don't know where I'm gonna run my fifth point. Some people drill into the bracket again to run it, but uh, as of now, we're just gonna run four. Oh, and I feel like I keep right before I'm ready to be done. Um, if you wanna use your old um, seatbelt hook, like say you wanna to go to Brahm seats, but you don't wanna do harnesses, you wanna use your old seatbelt. I couldn't figure out how to take it off. I know I unthreaded it, it's still a T25. Um, but it looked like the spacer, it had a washer on it that was like stuck. So I couldn't really take that off to pull off the seatbelt and thread it through here. But I'm sure you could buy some actual seatbelt ones or seatbelt like things. And then you can just slide it in between these bolts and then you'll have that if you wanna use your regular seatbelt. All right guys, just like that, we're done. I wanna point out a couple of things before I show you what this looks like. And it looks sick. Um, <laughs> couple of things. One. I wrapped my harnesses around my harness bar, okay? I did not do it the correct way. I am telling you that now and I will explain why. So I do not want to be accused of telling you to do something that you shouldn't do. So I'm telling you right now that it's not the way you're supposed to wrap it. And again, I will explain why. Second, on the lap belts. Again, I did them the way I did them. Some say you're supposed to drill into the frame itself and not the seat bracket because if the seat moves that belt's gonna go with you right it's not gonna hold you one of my braces or um they were called eye bolts for, with, that come with the harnesses I, I couldn't figure out the name it was eye bolts these aren't eye bolts but they're like brahm's version of them maybe i don't know i just got them from brahm they're a piece of steel that's welded that has a hook in it and i'm using that essentially as the eye bolt one of them is mounted into my seat belt which is mounted into the chassis the other one is into the seat bracket i'm not telling you to do that I'm telling you that that is what I did, okay? <laughs> Just saying. Lastly, I have a five point harness and I'm only using four points, okay? That five, that fifth point, which is the sub belt, it's your end, like so you don't submarine uh, when you crash essentially, it's so you don't slide out the bottom. That bolt is very crucial because when you install, or that belt is crucial because when you install that belt, it h helps hold the, the harness. You want your lap belt to sit on your lap. You don't want your lap belt to sit in your stomach. That's not what it's meant for. And if you get in the seat and you tighten down your harness and you feel like it's compressing your spine and you're going down, that's not good. You want it to hold, hold you back in your seat. So, I will show you what I did. Sorry, that's my phone that keeps going off. A common mistake I see when people mount their harnesses or do it is they don't have a harness bar or a roll cage and they do it all the way to the bottom. When you have that angle like this, it is not good. Your shoulder harness, your shoulders should be at the same level of your shoulders. I think if it's like a 10% grade difference minimum. And that is because if you mount them down there, like some people do, which I don't know why, and you crash and your body moves forward, it will compress your spine because this is going like this and it's going right back down. So all the tension is being held down, okay? So if you crash, your spine is gonna go down and you will break your back. All right, this, the tension is being held this way, so you're more likely to come out, which is why I also say you should not feel like you're going down when you tighten your harness. With the lap belts, your lap belt should be on your lap, not in your stomach. That's why the fifth belt's so important, because the fifth belt comes out here, and that's gonna stop your lap from even being able to move up. Your lap belt without a fifth point is inherently gonna want to move up, which is not good either. Again, I will install my fifth point in time. 
For those of you who have a brand new Camaro, I'm sure you don't want to install your fifth point because you're going to have to drill into the damn chassis or the, the, the bracket like you shouldn't do. But if you do it the right way, you're going to have to drill into the chassis to put your eye bolt in. And if that happens to me, I will, I mean, in time, I will find the time to do that and I will put in my fifth belt. Okay. For the rest of these, I left these, the slack for these, I took them, I rolled them up, and I just put a zip tie in. That's what Cypher recommended because there's a lot of slack, but I did leave enough just in case to adjust. Really, I have one co-pilot that's always in here, which is my wife, so I just needed to fit her size. And I did the same thing with the back. Now let's talk about the back. This is what I'm telling you. When I put it on, I put it on wrong. You see how you could see both these top pieces of metal here? When you put this harness belt, this belt on the on the harness bar, and you'll see this in Cypher's video, it goes around, it comes back through here, it goes over this little lip over here, and the last part it's supposed to roll, and it's supposed to go right back through this top. For some reason, the ones that came with this are not thick enough that I can get this one through. I tried to thread it through, and I cannot because of the lip on this, and I don't want to cut the webbing to try and get it through. That is why this is not that way. And a dead giveaway of how it's supposed to be is you should not be able to see both pieces of metal. You should only be able to see one. This should come back and wrap underneath that, okay? This is not correct. This is the way I'm gonna leave it right now until I'm able to order thicker ones. This is the way I'm gonna leave it without a fifth point because I need to do that at a later time. But overall, this is how it looks, which I think is sick. Beautiful orange cipher, got the, date, the expiration date for the seats. And again, I will come with a review for both and it looks amazing in my opinion. Again, that is not the professional way or racing certified way to do it, but I will make sure, sorry, that I do my part in telling you how it should be done, okay? Again, I don't wanna be sued. I don't want someone saying you're an idiot. You don't know what you're talking about because I clearly just spent the last five minutes telling you what not to do and what I did and how, what I am doing and how I plan to fix it in the future. But temporarily for now, this is how it's gonna be. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, a link to these belts will be in the description. And I showed you guys the other um, videos in this clip of those uh, little pieces from Brom. That's where I mounted the seatbelt. I'll actually show you that quick on the sides. There goes that metal piece down there, which is gonna be hard to see. That's one of them. And the other one is actually on the planted bracket itself right there. So these are clipped in. And that's why I did that. So I didn't have to use the eye bolts and actually go into my chassis. It works, it holds you. I already took it for a drive. It's a night and day difference. Um, again, thank you guys very much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. Please subscribe, show me some support. I've been growing steadily and I really appreciate all the love and support out there. If you wanna keep seeing content like this, help spread the word, comment. If you have any questions, comment that I didn't answer in the video for you, put it in the comments below. And again, everything should be in the link. As usual, guys, thank you, thank you very much. Just a guy living life. I will see you guys for the next video. Bye. Spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush